Hello and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 976. We're in the middle of the final 50 trivia challenge. These are all viewer submitted trivia quizzes. Today's quiz comes from Kara. I'm not sure where she's from, but she has an Australian email address, so I'm assuming it's from down under. Kara, thank you for 21 good questions. This is part 25. Good luck, everybody. Question number one. This product was invented by Sir Robert Augustus Chesbrough, who was known to eat a spoonful of his invention every day. It is a petroleum byproduct. What name is this substance marketed under that is used mostly as a skin care product? I can't imagine eating a spoonful of this every day was a good idea. The answer is Vaseline. Question number two. This television series premiered in 1989 and has gone on to become the longest running American sitcom and America's longest running scripted primetime television series. What is this television series that has also had a feature length movie made? America's longest running television series is The Simpsons. Question number three. Many children have tasted this product even though it is not food. What is this substance that was invented in the 1930s as wallpaper cleaner then marketed in the 1950s as a children's educational medium? The answer is Play-Doh. Question number four. This breed of cat was thought to have been the product of a domestic cat interbreeding with rabbits on the Isle of Man. What is this breed of cats called that is best known for having no tail? The answer is the Manx cat. Question number five. What author, born February 12th, 1938, is mostly known for writing young adult fiction with such titles as Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, starring Sally J. Friedman as herself, and Forever. Her name is Judy Bloom. Question number six. His most famous character was the Tramp. What British comedic movie star died leaving an estimated $100 million fortune but spent some of his childhood in the poorhouse along with his mother and brother? The Tramp's real name was Charlie Chaplin. Question number seven. This root vegetable is native to the Americas and can be prepared in many ways, including baking, frying, boiling, and grilling. The failure of what popular crop caused the death of more than one million people between 1846 and 1851? The answer is the potato. Question number eight. This country was discovered by Captain James Cook in 1777. The flag of this country includes the Southern Cross and the Union Jack. The original inhabitants of what country were not legally considered to be citizens until a referendum changed that in 1967?
The answer is Australia. Question number nine. This confectionery treat was originally made from a plant that grows wildly in marshland in both Asia and Europe. What is this common treat that is made from the ingredients including sugar, gelatin, and water, which is then whipped with air? This tasty treat is called a marshmallow. Question number 10. This American multinational convenience store was originally known as the Totem Stores. Founded in 1927 in Dallas, Texas, what is the modern name of this chain that got its name from the store's opening hours? It was open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. It's called the 7-Eleven. Question number 11. What is the name for the rare and unexplained weather phenomena that according to the Lanzhou researchers paper is believed to be an electrical ground strike that creates a reaction between oxygen and vaporized elements from the soil? makes a nice glowing orb. It's called ball lightning. Question number 12. It has a gestation period of 150 days. What type of animal is widely believed to have been the first animal domesticated by humans, mostly from wild stock present in Europe and Southeast Asia? The animal we're looking for is the goat. Question 13. This computer operating system was the first to be widely installed on personal computers. It was initially released in August of 1981. Timothy Patterson, a developer for the Seattle Computer Products, wrote the code for what original operating system for the Intel Corporation's 8086? That operating system was the MS-DOS. Question number 14. This entrepreneur, born in 1846, founded an American manufacturing company in 1886 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. What man won the bid against the newly formed General Electric to supply power to the Chicago's World's Fair in 1893? That man's name was George Westinghouse. Question number 15. This fictional character first appeared in a 19th century collection of fairy tales written by the Brothers Grimm. What was the name of this girl who was the main character in Walt Disney's first feature-length film in 1937? The answer is Snow White. Question 16. This American actor is the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola and was born in Long Beach, California in 1964. He was once married to Lisa Marie Presley. Who is this actor from such films as Face Off, Ghost Rider, and The Wicker Man? His name is Nicholas Cage. Question number 17. This fertility goddess from Norse mythology was the wife of the thunder god Thor. She is also responsible for the creation of Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. What is the name of this goddess 
who in the Marvel Universe is played by Jamie Alexander. Her name is Sif. Question number 18. This island in Nova Scotia, Canada is home to the Money Pit, a shaft more than 100 feet deep. The island is so popular with treasure hunters because of rumors that Captain Kidd buried his treasure there. What is the name of this island that is featured in a popular reality TV show? The answer is Oak Island. Question 19. The major glands and organs that make up what body system are responsible for making hormones and releasing them directly into the blood so they can travel to tissues and organs all over the body? The answer is the endocrine system. Question number 20. This musical note, played for one-eighth the duration of a whole note, is written with a black note head, a stem, and a tail. This symbol is worth a half a crotchet beat. What is the musical term for this that, in the United States of America, is known as an eighth note? I guess outside of the USA, it's known as a quaver. All right, that is it for today. Another great quiz. That was part 25 of the final 50. We are now halfway done with the final 50 trivia challenge. At the end of this challenge, on September 28th, we'll have hit 1,000 episodes. We'll be doing a live, a live episode where not only are we doing trivia, but we're also giving away $500 to one of the people who contributed to the Final 50 Trivia Challenge. We'll be doing an Ask Me Anything, some behind the scenes pictures, a little bit of trivia, we're giving away the money, and I'm currently taking requests. If there's anything that you wanna see during the live episode, shoot me a comment. You're more than welcome to do that. I'm gonna be hosting it, and the way I understand it, I can I'll have the chat box up, so I'll be able to just sit there and talk and respond um, with everybody who is, who's watching it. So, should be a pretty good time. I don't know, I've never done a live episode, and as you can tell from the end of these videos, when I'm allowed to just ramble, I don't do very good. I do the best when I have 20 questions in front of me that I can just read the questions and then read the answer. So. Wish me luck. If you want to see the train wreck, join us September 28th. It'll be sometime in the evening. I'll have more information as it gets closer, but I believe that's all I have for today. So why don't we go straight into Kara's question 21. This will be the tiebreaker. If the score is tied right now, if you're playing with somebody and the score is 10 to 10, now's the chance. Whoever gets this one correct and gets it correct first will be the winner of today's trivia quiz. This dam is considered to be one of the modern seven wonders of the world. Constructed between 1931 and 1936, the contractors were given seven years to complete what project, but actually completed it in just five. This dam, a popular dam in America, originally called the Boulder Dam, now it is called Hoover Dam. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Kara, for writing a great quiz. See everybody tomorrow for part 24.